everyone. So the video that you're about to watch is for an organization called CIAAD. And uh, I made this video to share my experience during COVID and especially the few months that COVID hits and everybody was having hard time. I just wanted to share and let you guys know what I was doing, what I've been working on and how I overcome all those challenges. If you're interested, please keep watching and I'll see you on my next video. Hello everyone, I'm super, super excited because I think I'm gonna be the next speaker uh, on this webinar. It has been awesome guys, 96 speakers, different languages and the topics were amazing. I personally learned quite a lot. I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed it so far. I cannot wait to see myself as well. Thank you to Siad for putting this together. It was amazing. It's other, other than that, like it was amazing and beautiful work everyone. Everyone did amazing work. My name is Aida Ziari. I'm an interior designer, engineer, and I run my own design and build firm. I have been working for myself since 2007, so about 13 years. I've been working on different type of projects, commercial and residential. We also build custom single family homes for clients. COVID hits, there has been many changes in the industry. In this video, I'm going to share my experience with you and I talk about the challenges and how I overcome those challenges and even one a step further, how I managed to grow my business during this pandemic. Right when COVID hits, I was in the middle of few projects. We heard the suppliers and manufacturers are closing. The first thing I did, I picked up all my orders from my local suppliers and stored them in storage. The advantage of working with local suppliers is they're accessible when you need them. Working with local suppliers is my number one priority. This strategy not only helped the environment, but also will benefit me and all my local businesses. Long story short, I managed to finish all my ongoing projects on time. Now it was time to adapt to the new situation and find a way to survive during this hard time. strategies that I use during COVID-19. The first thing I did was offering virtual consultation. I knew people are at home and they have so much free time. I thought offering such a consultation can help them to design their houses and create a better living space for themselves. I sent an email to my client list and advertised on the social media. The result was great. I've got a small and big projects out of these consultations. Over the last few months, many business owners had to reduce their overhead costs, lay off staff and balance work with their life. I knew so many people lost their jobs, companies were going out of businesses and they were laying off designers and contractors. Some of these people were people with years and years of experience. I invested money and started hiring. I received so many amazing resumes and I hired great people that probably I wouldn't be able to find if it was just a regular time. I believe great thing in business is done by group of people. You cannot go wrong by hiring the right people for your company. It is a great investment. If you guys 
to know me, you know, I take a lot of risk very easy and I adapt myself to whatever the outcome might be. In the middle of all this, I thought I should take an advantage of the extra time that I have and renovate my own showroom and office. Those three becoming slower and slower every single day, so I could use that time toward my own project. A lot of people commented on this move. They were saying it's not a wise decision and I need to hold my cash because we don't know what's gonna happen in future. But to me, it was just the perfect time. The results were amazing and the space looked great. When we reopened, everyone loved it and I managed to attract even more clients by making myself up to date. I adopted very quickly to the new method of virtual communication. In the past, my clients expected a large face-to-face -face contact with me as a designer and contractor. However, this expectation changed and the communication becomes more and more online. I use Zoom and Skype for my meetings. Even consulting online, you still require to look professional and your space needs to look professional too. So I redesigned my studio and invest in proper lighting and webcams for a better video and sound quality and I think that's very important. I didn't want my client miss what they were experiencing before and I wanted them to feel even more comfortable and prefer this type of communication. My job was to address all the challenges so my client could feel very comfortable and proceed with their project during this pandemic time. To continue working at the job site, I had to implement new rules, such as not all contractors could work at the same time. I divided them into the different groups and made sure they're not running to each other and we are managing the social distancing. This definitely slowed things down and it was very important to talk with my client and be open and honest with them. I found my clients appreciated that. There was no surprises and this way I didn't have to extend the deadline. Great communication with the client is a key point of any type of business. Now that I shared with you what I did during COVID-19, I want to share with you what will change after COVID. I see few changes in interior design that I think it will remain even after COVID. I think designers will use more and more online sources and do more and more virtual consultation. That might remove the boundaries even more and make this career even more global. I also see using more antibacterial material and surfaces that are easy to clean. antimicrobial materials such as copper and bronze will be more popular as well as hard surfaces such as quartz that are scratch resistant, stain resistant are getting used more and more. Oak, bamboo and cork wood getting used to stop growing bacteria. So creating multifunctional spaces such as home gym, home offices, media rooms or what interior designers and architects will be working on. I believe behind every negative thing, there are positive things we can learn. I'm hoping my experience be able to help you with your journey. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching.